In this video, we will review how to create an action template. Action templates are very useful. They help us automate the subtask level of a task, and it also helps support us when we know that something potentially is going to be repeated. So the first way we can create an action template is by navigating to our profile dropdown, come to our workspace settings, and pick templates. And we can cl click here and create a new action template. And this is where we will contain all of the sub actions that we would wish to apply to a future action card. So it's very important that we name this template. So I'll give it a title here. Okay. And then what we need to do is add our subset. So these will form the sub actions that apply to the action card. And by hitting return, it will open the next step. Okay, so there we have our four subtasks. And at this point, we can now add assignees, and we can automatically set the due dates to behave in a particular way. So let's add the assignees to this. Okay, and we can do that by task. And for this, I'm also going to want to add a label. So let's add a label at this level, which means when you apply the action template, it will apply that label to the parent action card. Now, when we look at our due dates, we can select the due date and the duration that each of these steps can take. This also allows us to add dependencies should one of these tasks rely or depend on another. So now I'm going to add some dates to this and I'm also going to use something called negatives because what I want is the submit day to match the day or the due date of the action card that this template is applied to. So I'm going to make that zero and then I'm going to work backwards and back out all of these steps. So let's make this minus one, minus two and minus three. And what will happen is when we apply this template, you will see the due dates of these subactions align themselves accordingly. At this point, I can add any attachments that I would like to this card. So when this template is applied, it's visible for your, for your members. And then make any further edits such as custom fields or approval rounds. But for now, I'm happy with this. So I'm going to click Save Action Template. And it will be in the template manager should you wish to come back and edit it or copy it at any point in the future. So I'll close that down and I'm going to come and open up my creative review spring holiday action card. This is where I want to apply the sub action template. So let's click more, apply template, select the review and apply. And you'll see here that as we wish, the due date of this card is the 22nd of January and all sub actions have backed out from those dates. Now there is one further way we can create an action template. So if I open up my weekly report here, you'll see this already has sub actions. And what we can do is we can simply create a template from this action card for future use. So open your card, toggle up to the more button, click save as template, and you'll see it takes the title of the action card, any labels that are applied, assignees, and then the sub action dates here. And I'm going to save this. And again, you'll see that this appears in our template manager. And that is how we create an action template in Hive.